for the assignment that was given to you all, where you're supposed to draw the uh, dichotomous key, you can that is able to separate these genera. Usually, we'll look at the test results and look at the tests that can separate the genera. There is no fixed answer for this. Both lactose and urease seems to be able to uh, split the genera here well. But because lactose is the main test in Enterobacteriaceae, we will start off with lactose test. We have a positive and negative results for lactose. So if it's lactose positive, what we can do next is we'll have one, two, three, four positives here. So what we can do is we can uh, either check out the motility or urease or do the motility and that will give you positive and negative motility. So if it's positive for motility, so you still have E. coli here, you still have uh, Escherichia here, then you will also have uh, Enterobacter, you will also have Citrobacter, yes that's about it. So if negative motility for lactose positive but negative motility we will have uh, Klebsiella here, yes that's about it. And then now for lactose negative, for lactose negative bacteria, we will probably use H2S to differentiate genera. So we'll have a H2S producer and non H2S producers. So Salmonella is one here, H2S positive. And then Shigella will be. Yeah, negative. Then the Russia is also negative. And then we'll have Yersinia here. And also we will have Organella. Then we will have Proteus here. Between and Escherichia, Enterobacter, and Citrobacter, we can probably use either Uris or H2S. Separate them out. So we can use H2S. Positive for H2S is Citrobacter, and negative will be Tericia and Citrobacter. Between Salmonella and Proteus, you can probably use uh, Urease. Separate them out. So positive Urease, negative Urease. Positive Urease will be Proteus. And negative urease will be salmonella. That for Shikella, Seracia, Yersinia, and Morganella, urease is good to remove Shigella. Okay, so again, urease to remove Shigella. So after Shigella, for Seracia, Yersinia, and Morganella, it has to be a TSI. We'll look at the after urease positive, we'll do a TSI and look at those with uh, gas, KA gas, that will give you Morganella. And the other says Russia and Yersinia is KA. This will have Yersinia and Russia. And then finally, to separate Yersinia and for Russia, we can do a motility test at 7 degrees. If it's positive, it will be Russia. If it's negative, it will be the city. So we are able to separate Capsiella, Citrobacter, Proteus, Salmonella, Shigella, Morganella, uh, Russia, and Yersinia. So for Escherichia and Trebacter, it has to be together because 
the number of tests in this table is not enough to separate them. Both Escherichia and Enterobacter exhibits the same results, biochemical results for all these uh, five tests. So this is a uh, this is uh, a rough dichotomy uh, scheme. They can move based on the table here. So as I mentioned, there is no fixed answer because it depends on which test you do first. But uh, if you have more tests in your table, then you should try to find the least number of steps that will enable you to differentiate every genera.